I did not fly halfway across the world. Saya tidak terbang jauh-jauh dari, dari sebelahan dunia yang lain. To do a church service. Untuk melakukan ibadah gereja. I came here tonight. Saya datang malam hari ini. Because I believe that God wants to bring transformation to this region. Karena saya percaya Tuhan akan membawa transformasi ke daerah ini. And the transformation is not going to come through us. Dan transformasi tidak akan datang melalui kita. It's going to come through you. Tapi akan datang melalui saudara. Because in a few days we're leaving. Karena beberapa hari lagi kita akan pergi. And we're going back to the states. Dan kita akan pergi ke Amerika. But guess who's here? Tapi siapa yang di sini? You are. Saudara. You are the ones that are going to bring transformation. Saudara yang akan membawa perubahan di daerah you ini. You are the ones that are going to see the kingdom of God established here. Saudara yang akan melihat kerajaan Allah dibangun di tempat ini. And I want you to see how powerful the word is. A lot of you have already been healed. The gospel has been preached. The word has been spoken. And I'm telling you right now, when the gospel is preached, power is released in the room. I do not need to lay hands on you for you to be healed. Because the power of the spoken word is greater. I'm telling you, it's the word of God released in a room. And when the word of God is released in the room, miracles happen. We really believe that what Jesus did on the cross was enough. We really believe that when he died on the cross, that it was enough to set us free from sin. It was enough to set us free from captivity. You don't want to be so dependent on what you can do that you're not dependent on who God is in your life. Yeah. And, and I think that's the biggest thing is making that priority that God will reconnect with you. I don't think that we're asking God to move. We're agreeing in faith that He already has moved and we're speaking that reality into existence. The Bible doesn't say he died just for the people that are in church. It actually says he died for everyone. And if he loves everyone, then he wants to heal them. And he wants them to be in relationship with him. If we simply listen to what he's saying and believe it, then his power will work through us. See, the question is, do you guys have something inside of you that grips you, yang menggerakkan saudara, that possesses you, yang mengambil alih saudara, that says I can't live without this. Yang bilang saya tidak bisa hidup tanpa ini. Because you never are truly living until you have a reason worth dying. Karena saudara tidak benar-benar hidup jika saudara tidak memiliki alasan untuk hidup. When you understand what Jesus did for you on the cross, and the payment that He actually gave for you, you will wake up and be on fire for this gospel. How many know there is power in the word? Siapa yang tahu ada kuasa dalam firman? 
Something the Lord revealed to me about a year and a half ago. Sesuatu yang Tuhan tunjukkan kepada saya satu dan setengah ta- satu setengah tahun yang lalu. Is that we have become so focused on someone laying hands on us? Adalah bahwa kita begitu fokus tentang seseorang menumpangkan tangannya kepada kita. To receive our healing. Untuk menerima kesembuhan. That we've lost sight of the power of the word of God. Sampai kita kelupaan uh, kuasanya firman Tuhan. And Since then, itu, when I've been traveling and ministering, ketika saya pergi pelayanan, the Lord showed me orang, uh, Tuhan tunjukkan kepada saya that there's so much power and authority in His Word bahwa ada begitu banyak kuasa di dalam Firman-Nya that people will be healed and miracles will happen as the gospel is preached and Or, the Word is released. The gospel has been preached. Injil sudah dikabarkan. The Word has been released. Firman sudah dilepaskan. And there is more power and authority in this than you realize. Dan ada lebih banyak kuasa di dalam Firman Tuhan dari kita pikirkan. Saya berdoa sekarang juga Untuk setiap orang di sini Yang perlu kesembuhan dalam tubuh mereka Saya perintahkan rasa sakit dan penyakit Untuk pergi dari tubuh mereka sekarang Dengan nama dan otoritas Yesus Tidak ada rasa sakit lagi Tidak ada lagi penyakit Tidak ada lagi penyakit Saya lepaskan kesembuhan Tuhan Kuasa kesembuhan to flow through their body right now. Untuk mengalir lewat tubuh mereka sekarang juga. In the name of Jesus. Dalam nama Yesus. I thank you right now. Saya bersyukur Tuhan sekarang. For healing to flow through their bodies. Kesembuhan untuk mengalir di tubuh mereka. Every cell. Thank you Jesus. Terima kasih Yesus. Guys, this is so good. Teman-teman ini luar biasa. This is honestly my favorite thing to do. Ini benar-benar salah satu hal yang saya paling sukai untuk lakukan. Like do you realize? Saudara sadar enggak? This is grace. Ini adalah anugerah. There is no effort in this. Tidak ada kemampuan yang kita bisa keluarkan. This is not about any of us. Ini bukan tentang diri kita. Because here's the thing. Karena ini hal ter- hal yang penting. I could lay hands on a lot of people. Saya bisa menumpangkan tangan kepada banyak orang. And I can orang. see a lot of people get healed. Dan saya bisa melihat banyak kesembuhan. But what's going to happen in two weeks? Tapi apa yang terjadi dalam 2 minggu? When I'm not here. Ketika saya pergi The point of this titik ini titik kenapa saya apa yang saya ingin tunjukkan is the word is always here firman selalu bersama saudara and as the word is preached dan ketika firman dibagikan people will always be orang-orang healed orang-orang akan selalu disembuhkan you don't need me saudara tidak perlu saya you don't need this team saudara tidak perlu tim ini you need the word of saudara god saudara perlu firman Tuhan Saya bisa hidup seperti 
The truth is, if we don't have Jesus Christ in our lives moving powerfully, we'll never actually experience the full power of the Christian life. Because the same spirit that raised Christ from the dead was in Paul and is also in you. Thank you.